Part 4. The Biology Behind the Curtain We already know movement is good for the brain, but some movement is more encompassing in what it addresses than others, specifically freestyle dancing and dance forms that don't retrace memorized paths. Researchers compared the effectiveness of cognitive activities in warding off Alzheimer's and dementia and found that dancing had the greatest effect, a 76% risk reduction. 76 people higher than doing crossword puzzles at least four days a week, which was 47%, and reading 35%. Dancing enhances neuroplasticity, increasing neural connectivity because it integrates kinesthetic, rational, musical, and emotional brain functions simultaneously. In a paper published in Biology Letters, Bronwyn Tarr and colleagues studied the effect of exertion and synchronous dance movements on social bonding and beta endorphin levels, measured using pain thresholds as a proxy marker. Beta endorphins are an opioid that our own body manufactures to help manage pain. No drug companies involved with that one. They found that both exertion and synchronous movement increased rates of social bonding and increased pain thresholds. The bonding effect was directed only towards fellow dancers, aka the in-group, rather than towards the out-group. So you have to be actually dancing to benefit from the bonding and the rise in opioid beta endorphins. Maybe that's why rugby teams do hakas. Gives them a little bit of an edge. If you touch someone you are dancing with, there's a bonus. Just holding hands reduces the stress hormone cortisol in addition to increasing the release of oxytocin. Well, that's another good one. Also called the bliss or cuddle hormone, it promotes feelings of devotion, trust, and bonding, and it lays the biological foundation and structure for connecting to other people. Oxytocin up, cortisol down, cascade of electrical impulses slows the heart and lowers blood pressure, making you feel less stressed. You're also feeling trusting and connected. This complex surge of events in the brain and body are all initiated by the simple act of holding hands or hugging. The trust and sense of connection goes deeper, even influencing how we relate to those we move with under circumstances outside of the dance. In March of 2018, Laura Sorelli presented research about what makes young children behave in pro-social ways. They were specifically testing 14-month-old babies. They're walking, but they're not yet talking. These 14-month-olds were strapped into front-facing baby carriers worn by assistants in the study and facing someone who's a total stranger to them. The researchers turned on some music, twist and shout. The person carrying the baby began to bounce to the music. The person facing the baby would either move in synchrony with how they were being bounced or move so that their movements weren't aligned with what the baby was experiencing. After about two and a half minutes, the bouncing stopped and the baby was removed from the carrier. Now for the really interesting bit. Sorelli said this person who had faced them and moved either in or out of sync with them would play a little game with the kids. They would draw with markers or throw paper balls in a bucket. Every now and then, the assistant who had faced the baby would drop a marker or a ball and then pretend the object was out of reach. So she would reach pathetically for like 30 seconds, says Sorelli. And we'd look to see what the babies did in this really weird situation where this person they just met needs help, but isn't really asking for help. Babies who were bounced in sync with a dance partner were more likely to volunteer to help than babies who were bounced out of sync. And it wasn't just the bouncing, it was the music too. Babies are happier when they move on rhythm to music, even moving them on a rhythm. But to say nature sounds, language, it doesn't have the same impact. What is going on? Say you're watching a football game and your guy on your team suddenly has the ball and is running for the goal. What do you do? But you're 2,000 miles away. Is it really going to make a difference? Nah. But you think so. Like deep down in your brain, in your little human brain, you think so. In dance, we call this kinesthetic empathy. See someone sniffing something unfamiliar? They wrinkle their nose in disgust. Suddenly, your own stomach turns at the thought of that something. Such experiences puzzled psychologists, neuroscientists, and philosophers for many years who wondered how we understand so immediately and instinctively the thoughts 
feelings and intentions of someone going through such experiences. Does it have something to do with mirror neurons? Ever since a team of Italian researchers in the 1990s found individual neurons in the brains of macaque monkeys that fired both when the monkeys grabbed an object and also when the monkeys watched another primate grab the same object, this kind of behavior has been attributed to mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are a type of brain cell that responds equally when we perform an action and when we witness someone else performing that same action. Neuroscientist Giacomo Rizzolatti, MD, who with his colleagues at the University of Parma first identified mirror neurons, said that the neurons helped to explain how and why we read others' minds and feel empathy for them. It means that watching an action and performing that action can activate the same parts of the brain in the two individuals. The concept was simple, but its implications were far-reaching. Over the past 20 years, more research has suggested that mirror neurons might help explain not only empathy, but also autism, the evolution of language, and more. Mirror neurons have been identified in dogs, existing between the dog and its favorite humans. If you reach your hand out for your dog, their paw, that same paw, their mirror paw, will start firing in their brain. I mean, they're, they're like mirroring your action. It's amazing. Dancing together, even for a short time, appears to foster the development of mirror neurons, thereby shaping and enhancing kinesthetic empathy and social bonds. We become literally in sync and we are more willing to help each other. This bonding thing that happens when people move together, it has a name, communitas.